everyone. Thanks for stopping by the Standards Weekly Check-In. I'm Colin. Behind the camera, we got Heavy Metal Dylan. What's up? Today, we are going to be getting into some staff picks, flipping through some new arrivals, recently priced records, and addressing some uh, uh, viewer questions at the end of the video. As always, if you see anything you like, you can hit the DMs on Instagram, give the shop a ring, or just cruise by. We're open 11 to 8, seven days a week. I'm, I'm fired up for being late at night. Yeah? I don't know what's going on. I get it. The rainy day and everything. Yeah. I think I took a nap in the middle of the day. Maybe that's why I'm fired up. And I think you're excited for another thing. What's that? Solo, dude. Yeah, we were watching all the Star Wars movies and on yeah. Monday, and I get excited about watching all the Star Wars movies again. And we made it to Solo. It's sad. You just keep watching and listening and reading the same things over and over again at some point in your life. Yeah. <sighs> what can you do? You know, I ran nine miles today on my treadmill. You tell me that every day. No, <laughs> it was, it's, it's a, <laughs> you put your show off that you run nine miles a day. No, it's this is the longest I've run in a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm in a good mood. That's good. I know you like to bring me down. But. I know, I'm just saying. Every day it's like, hey, I'm bragging right now. I ran nine miles while you were stuck at work for nine hours. I'm before. proud of myself. I'm not going to apologize for it. I'm happy for you. Speaking of being happy, yeah. what are you listening to, dude? No, speaking of happy, you're right, dude. Madness, absolutely, dude. Uh, the happiest Madness record with one of the uh, one good song. What's the, what do you mean? It's, oh, one happy record. What's the one song? Called? Baggy Trousers. Baggy Trousers is yeah. the banger. The Embarrassment's stuff. really good, though. Yeah. Um, yeah all good. There's this, like no bad songs. There's like the one album. Everyone no, that, that song sucks. That last I, one that's like a lounge song. I, I hate, hate when bands do that. They're so just chilling. Yeah. Whatever. They're just ending the album. They're just chilling, having fun. Man, them. Yeah. Look how it's baggy a, his trousers are. It's right? a surprisingly uh, consistently great album. Yeah. I don't have. Speaking of surprisingly consistently great. Yes. I don't have someone bought the record I was going to talk about, so I'll just say a little something about these two, Ultra Box and 2020. Um, yeah, just really good albums, good art rock, uh, new wavy, post Roxy music kind of stuff, and uh, just some straightforward toe tap and power pop from 2020. Um, nice albums. Love having good albums that aren't uh, going to break the bank and are, you know, probably uh, uh, albums with uh, quality replay value. You can. Get these and stick with them for the rest of your life, and you'll be a, a satisfied person. I would say. You mess with those too? Uh, I I like that 2020. Weirdly, I've never really listened to Ultra Fox. This is a this is like a, a talk about an album with no bad songs. You'll 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 dig this one. Yeah. Yeah. There's not much bad tracks on here. Um, yeah, really good. We don't get it in too often, and it's not one of those things where it's like, oh my god, you have this. I'm gonna claw someone's fingers off to get it. But, yeah. um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a real good listen. Good album, I recommend it. Shall we look through some records? Sure. Okay. I have a horrible conclusion that I came to today. Go ahead. I've been listening to Shuffle on Spotify wrong. Uh, yeah. I didn't know how to fix it. Yeah? Do you know how to fix it? Shuffle like the smart shuffle? Well, or shuffle like um, the true random shuffle. True random shuffle. Yeah, I know how to fix it. That's what I want. Yeah. All the time. And I've, they've been giving me smart shuffle. Yeah. And then there's another button for like the DJ. Mm -hmm. And that, ha I did that on accident. Mm -hmm. I wanted to veer off the freeway. <laughs> so angry. You finished your 14,000 hour playlist to the point where it got to the DJ part? No, two songs into my 14,000 playlist. Oh, then they started playlist. adding the random and, shit. And I was like, whoa, 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 I've been working really hard on this playlist. Yeah, I want to know what it's like on shuffle. And then they're playing me some, some nonsense. Yeah. And I'm like, this isn't, I started having a meltdown. I was like, what, did I accidentally add a different album? Yeah, like Trivia was in your Bro, metal playlist all of a sudden. I was so and sad. And not your hard rock playlist. It's odd, if you go to the settings. Yes. Your account, playback. Yes. yes. Playback. Yes. The thing that says auto mix, mm -hmm. and you turn it off. Yes. And um, then, you, uh, then, you, then you're then you on true random. Yeah. And I know that. So like every time I was listening to this metal playlist on shuffle, because it does beat matching, right? Yeah, It's yeah. supposed to be like, BPMs, mm -hmm. so it just plays repulsion, 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 <laughs> repulsion. <laughs> you know, like, what kind of shuffle is this? Yeah, it's like goddamn. No, band. and you know, that's. I guess there's also a. Um, I don't know. There's like a false idea of randomness where it's like, well, I flip a coin and it has heads 14 times in a row. Well, statistically, that's not that crazy. Mm -hmm. It's just, um, you know, that's that's the nature of of, of random. You get into these uh, uh, mathematic things. So I'm like, oh, this is fine. It's not. I was it was Jerry rigged. Yeah. And now I, I feel free. I feel free well, on true good. shuffle. I uh, thank you. I'm glad you were able to figure that out. I, I remember having to deal with that 
and being hella lost. Well, the problem is I thought I had dealt with it before, but I think they changed it and then they changed it back. Yeah, it's annoying. Because you would be listening to like, let's say I'm listening to my go to sleep playlist. Yes. And all of a sudden they're playing my wake up, you're driving right now playlist. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't want that. True shuffle. Yeah. Auto mix off. Yes. Viewer questions. This is the part of the video where we answer questions left on last week's YouTube comment section. Uh, this time around, Glory Good is uh, talk about speak about bragging, Dylan, mm -hmm. pulling a, a green label um, uh, machine head from Deep Purple album off the shelf. Said it was a very satisfying spin, as it always is. The green label has power. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what. It, there's certain labels where it's like if it's like green label Warner Brothers, I'm like. Mm. This might be good because they were just putting out bangers after bangers at that time. Yeah. Sabbath, Deep Purple, um, Van Morrison, a lot of stuff. You know what else I really like? The Starburst ABC labels, like around the mid 70s. ABC records? Yeah, yeah. They're, I, I feel it's probably more good records with that label. Anyways, you, you a machine head? You mess with purple, deep with purple. The, with the purple, they don't come up too often, with the right? With DP, yeah. Uh, I like deep purple, but not. I'm not like a deep, deep purple. Head. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you know the whole family tree and everything. Exactly. I don't know when I cut off either. Like that's how much I don't. I know. Yeah, I think you know. I don't just go go too far. I think Burn comes out after Machine Head. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty solid with them before that. I really like uh, Book of Talison. Like one yeah. of their really early records. And in rock, I think we've talked about that before. That's yeah. goaded. Yeah. Speed King. I mean, if you have any passing interest in just uh, high energy music, that's an anthem. Uh, but yeah, there's um, there there's uh, uh, no shame in the early Deep Purple catalog. Always always a solid listen. Onion five six five asking us a very uh, uh, straight to the point question: If we have any uh, Kanye records, he's looking for Life of Pablo. Yay and. Um, Graduation. Uh, graduation and Life of Pablo are bootlegs, so we get those in sporadically, unfortunately. Uh, Yay is like, I kind of goes in and out of print. I tried to get that one in. I like that record a lot, so I try to keep it in stock. But um, I think, what, what do we have right now? Let me check. Hey, magic of cinema here. Hold on. Bam, here we go. We got a uh, late registration, college dropout, Kitsy Ghost, and Donda. So, uh, twiddle your old thumbs on those other titles. They should be back sooner than later. And. On a completely unrelated note, the question has nothing to do with the last one. Uh, Jeffrey Francis asks uh, your feelings on separating the art from the artist. Can you enjoy an artist's music even if, if they have a, a problematic behavior, etc.? Dylan, you'd be listening to canceled artists all the time, right? <laughs> Constantly. That's all I listen to. It's weird. Yeah. Kind of an edge lord. Yeah. That's how. That's how I. <laughs> walk that's how you around. perceive your, the, yourself. Yeah, that's I, I drive around with my windows open listening to like just canceled artists constantly. Is that, is that why you have the Joker makeup on right now? Can you be honest with me? What is so funny? Oh, I am very serious right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I, um, I don't care about that sort of thing, but I think, you know, I, I guess there's kind of a point where it interferes, like if it's a a message you don't agree with, let's say, prominent in the music, maybe that can like interfere with your enjoyment. But when someone's like, oh, I can't listen to this artist because they so on and so forth, you know, I'm like, uh, oh, you're a better person. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ultimately, bottom line to me, I think. So it's person to person and it's case by case, yeah. right? Yeah. Shades of gray, you know. Yes. Hey, only Sith deal in absolutes. Dylan's walking away, you can't tan stand my my facts and logic. But uh, no, uh, yeah, you, you, it's a, it's a, it, everyone's different. I, I try not to uh, uh, judge anyone or anything. But here's something that I think is a, is a one step deeper. We're going one step deeper here. Uh, Gary Glitter, one of the worst of the worst. True, vile, evil person. No um, shades of gray there. Say you don't listen to his music. You're, 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 you're a better person than I am. Agreed. However, his influence was such that he made music that influenced other artists. The Damned, or like early on before it came out that he was as horrible as he was, was like, this is one of our biggest influences, this is Gary Glitter. We love Gary Glitter. Tons of people have covered his songs. Again, not really knowing the full story. The Spice Girls cover uh, Leader of the Gang in, their, in the Spice World movie. Mm -hmm. Song played at baseball games all the time, so on and so forth. Sometimes an artist can permeate culture despite, or, you know, however you want to look at it. They're, they're evil people, they're rotten, 
But where do you draw the line? Is it just a matter of, well, I don't support them because they're bad, of course. They're also dead, you know, so it's kind of a symbolic gesture. Not a bad symbolic gesture, but a symbolic gesture nonetheless. How far does that symbolism go in terms of influence? A hard to say. I don't have an answer. These are just thoughts from a damaged, twisted, dark Sith Lord. Sith Lord brain. <laughs> If you have any questions you would like to see answered in next week's video, leave a uh, question in the YouTube comment section. We'll address it then. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace. Look how baggy his trousers are.